Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a general love tale reading for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, in your reading today, I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently, Taurus. But before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you specifically. And if it does not, Taurus, please don't take it personally. But without further ado here, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started with your reading and your energy. Let's see what we have going on for Taurus, please, at this time when it comes to the energy of love. Very first card to come out is the Magician Taurus. All right, let's see what this Magician energy is about for Taurus. The Magician, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Who is this person Taurus is dealing with or the person making their way towards Taurus? We have the Magician, Ace of Pentacles here. Next card to come out is the Three of Cups. Three of Cups, Taurus. Three of Cups. Let's go ahead and receive one more message for now. Three of Cups. But then we have the King of Pentacles, which is in reverse here. King of Pentacles in reverse. So let's go ahead and get started. We have the Magician. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups for you, Taurus as well as the King of Pentacles in reverse. So of course we'll clarify this reversal, but I feel like this is for my single Tauruses and I feel like you've been pouring more into yourself, Taurus, in all ways. And you could feel really content right now and just noticing things big or small working out for you. And I hope that is the case, Taurus. And also energetically, I, I feel like you may have learned some things recently or over the years that have made things so or just easier for you. And once again, it could be small things, it could be bigger things, but little lessons or big lessons that you incorporate into your life. And because you're bettering yourself, Taurus, I feel like you see the reward through it. So we do have the magician. This is very or you're very abundant, Taurus. And I also feel like it's it's just important for you to take note or keep in mind that as long as you are yourself, you do what is best for you, you are the best version of yourself there is, then things will work out, things will fall into place. So I hope you feel grounded. I hope you feel in your element, Taurus. But even when it comes to love, I feel like you are manifesting or attracting someone who is who is a part of your, your soul tribe. Definitely. And of course, I don't want to elaborate so much because I want to receive more clarity on the King of Pentacles. But I do say they're a part of your soul tribe or someone you can easily connect with because of the Three of Cups energy. I feel like things sync, things feel harmonized, things feel of unity with this person, Taurus. You may actually meet this person through mutual friends or they are already in your friend group, but I feel like you feel comforted and at ease and especially building feelings or as it starts to work itself into something more, it's like it's easy to fall for this person and I feel like that's the same way this person feels about you. So we do have that Three of Cups energy. So perhaps someone you were destined to meet here, but also a part of your soul tribe. If you're not familiar with what I mean by soul tribe, I, I'll just describe it as someone who you're, you're grateful and blessed to have met them because everything just makes sense. You don't have to question that, that friendship or that bond. Then the Ace of Pentacles, I, I feel like this connection has that potential to 
build from the ground up so that it has that solid foundation towards, especially if this is a friendship for now and you two are taking things slow and steady here. But let's get into the King of Pentacles in reverse. I, I do feel like this connection may take some trial and error, of course, or someone has some maturing to do or someone there could be some minor setbacks due to miscommunication or someone thinking for themselves that the King of Pentacles or maybe something this could also refer to finances or someone not feeling the most secure within themselves. Let's go ahead and pull some additional additional cards. King of Pentacles in reverse for Taurus. Eight of Swords, Taurus. So yeah, that's why I didn't want to or get into it so much because now we have the Eight of Swords. What's this Eight of Swords about in relation to the King of Pentacles for Taurus in reverse? All right, the High Priestess. The High Priestess. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. All right, let's receive more information on the King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords as well. King of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords with this person. We have the Two of Pentacles, right? What else do we need to know for my Tauruses here? Another card came out. That is the Chariot. Let's go ahead and move these cards. So we have a chariot for Taurus, the chariot, following the chariot, which is Cancer energy, we also have ten of swords, ten of swords, page of pentacles, Taurus. Last but not least, let's see, we have the knight of swords. Okay, Taurus, and let's just take a look at the bottom. The Sun card, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Judgment, Four of Swords, and following the Knight of Swords, one more card, any other relevant energy, Four of Cups, Taurus. So, yeah, I was going to say, Taurus, or I will say, I feel like this is more of like a, a fling. Of course, it may not be to you, but I feel like this connection, you two may hit it off, but like where you're at Taurus or what you want for the long term and maybe even red flags or things that come in the middle from this person side I feel like you're not going for it or it's not appealing for you they may be attractive or there could be other qualities you do like about them but I feel like long term purposes you don't feel like it will work the best so once again king of pentacles in reverse this could be someone who has some maturing to do has some growing to do um, maybe someone who is in a way like petty or they don't see the bigger picture like you do, Taurus. And I, I feel like this is going to cause friction or it's like when you know, when you when you try to like, this is just an example, but like as far as a feeling, how something can make you feel when you you know you're right because it's it's based off of fact, but someone is so stubborn to be like dealing with a person who is more stubborn than you and they're not even willing to look into what you're trying to tell them Taurus. So just frustration and I, I feel like it the the spark between you two may dwindle down. And for you, Taurus, it's like, you know what, I can do without this. Especially if there is or are any lies involved, if there's manipulation, manipulate manipulative ways from this person. It's like I was feeling better when I wasn't getting to know you. And of course, I, I have some interest in you, but I really don't need this. So I feel like you're going to do what's best for you, Taurus, because that magician energy, you're you're remembering who you are also with the high priestess. You're intuitive, but like a lot of communication or clarity is coming through you at this time. And also you want to keep it that way. So not making any unnecessary room for any blockages to happen within because you're receptive you're understanding to your wants and needs and sometimes when we have the wrong people in our life and I know I mentioned this person is a part of your soul tribe Taurus it could be a karmic and sometimes karmics are deceptive but I, I feel like you're you're really not trying to make any unnecessary room for blockages and it's like you're understanding and receptive of your own feelings and emotions and sometimes when someone isn't right for us we 
accommodate them more than we accommodate ourselves. So I feel like you're all in keeping that momentum, keeping that rhythm that you've built for yourself towards the two of pentacles, keeping that abundance flowing and going for yourself and not holding yourself up, not not getting off of track because this is a new period, a, a new phase in your life, Taurus, or just something that you're trying to do differently because you know that it'll serve you in the end. So we have the chariot energy. You're not letting your emotions hold you back because you're understanding how you feel and you're not turning against yourself, Taurus. And I, I feel like you're taking this ending as it comes, it goes. I, I can't hold myself up on it for long, especially if you feel like you're easily prone to feeling guilt when you did nothing wrong, Taurus. It, it was just the unfortunate situation that happened in your life. So we have the Ten of Swords. I feel like perhaps you're releasing, reflecting what does not serve you. Page of Pentacles energy. You're, keep, you're keeping it going for yourself, Taurus. Still building that foundation for yourself. Because at first we have the Ace of Pentacles. It, and I feel like you you pushed yourself forward in a way, Taurus, by not by deciphering if this person was good for you or if they were going to hold you back. And I, I also mention a fling because we have the Knight of Swords, quick, impulsive energy. But I feel like the truth came out. And in terms of how you feel about moving forward with this person is that Four of Cups energy, just not interested, Taurus. This isn't what I want when it comes to building something long term with someone, especially when my heart is involved. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards for you, Taurus. What else may be relevant for my Tauruses, please? Jealousy. I'm very jealous. I I can barely stand it. I'm very Excuse me, Taurus. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. We have jealousy. Ghosted. I'm sorry. I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. Ghosted. One more card just in case it might resonate. Please for Taurus. All right, Taurus. Let's get these cards together. One more specific message, please. Last but not least, we have showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. All right, Taurus. Last but not least, let's go ahead and see what signs may be relevant. Capricorn as our first sign. Aries, Capricorn, Aries. Virgo, let's go ahead and roll one more sign, please. And Gemini. So Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. But Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.